They've been friends for years. I can think of no finer people uh, to see the new year in with than with your good selves. I see them once every century. What's all this, then? It's called the pot belly, Andrew. We have those in England, along with culture. You never change, do you? What do you mean? They can look past each other's failings. I could feel the cellulite building up on me on the plane. She's fine when she's asleep. I heard that! Thank you, darling. They can forgive each other's mistakes. You are stuck in a recurring pattern. You know those mice that go around on those little wheels? Imagine one wearing a tight leather skirt. We can't all have our lives figured out as well as you do. And they can admit their secret passions. Peter, fill me with your little babies. Oh, my God. But can they survive a weekend in the same house together? Peter's never been very interested in women. You slept with Sarah. I know you did. Oh, my dear, the Archbishop of Canterbury slept with Sarah. Remember how in love you were with Andrew here? Is there anyone else down there you used to sleep with? This is ruining our marriage. I don't think so. Well, congratulate me. I see you've turned Andrew back into an alcoholic. <laughs> Maggie into an erotomaniac. <laughs> Sarah into a nun. You make Mother Teresa look like a hooker. <laughs> it's not going exactly as I planned. <laughs> Get to know Peter and his friends as they get to know each other. Actually, I no longer sleep with men or women. All over again. If I did, I promise you, you'd be right up there on my wish list, together with Michelle Pfeiffer and River Phoenix. Peter's friends. How long have you been married now? Almost three years. It's quite a long time for Hollywood, isn't it? Yeah. Did you get some kind of plaque? Yes, we stayed together five years. I get free hair transplants, and she gets a new set of breasts. Not so she'll have four. Yes, but her agent gets one. Then, yeah, no, stop <laughs> it. <laughs>